everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review, very, very quick, um, about the new Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chromes. I have these two colors here. But before we begin, I just want to talk about my foundation. I am testing out a new foundation. It's the All Night. Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I've had this foundation on right now for about six hours, so if things look a little messy, that's probably why. Um, I did a haul video, and now I'm doing this review. So good day, a good, very productive day. So let's jump into the review. I found out about these products from Cassie here on YouTube. She, her channel name is Thrift Thick. She is absolutely one of my favorite YouTubers. I think she is just so funny. She has, has always honest reviews, and I just really like her. Um, now I am a big fan of the color tattoos, the ones that come in the pot. I love the bronze shade. Um, I also have the taupe shade that I really like. So I decided to pick up the, the bronze and the taupe versions in this new um, eye chrome collection. And this looks very much like a liquid lipstick where it comes with a lid like this. Um, it comes in a doe applicator. Let me swatch them for you first. And I'm not going over it too much. I'm not like glopping up a whole bit. I'm just going to apply like I would normally would to my eyes. About the same amount. Just spreading it out a little thicker so you can see. Okay, so that one here is the champagne what is this called? No, beige luster, sorry. It's kind of like a taupey, rosy kind of color. Um, and this one is the bronze one, obviously. And this bronze shade kind of has a little bit more of a yellow ochre undertone, a li little bit more yellowy, greenish undertone, I guess, um, than a brown, than a warm brown, I guess. So these are the two shades I got, and you can see very chrome-like, very metallic, very pretty. So those are the pros. The colors are really beautiful. Really like it. Applied on, they are very smooth. Um, once they dry on your hand, they don't really move too much. Right? You can see that. I'm rubbing it. Don't really move too much. Not moving. Okay. Now. Those are probably the only pros. <laughs> this product is something I would not recommend. I thought this would save me a lot of time where I could just blend it out, um, like apply it, blend it out, and then go. But the cons, the major con of this is that it applies super patchy. Um, especially this color here, the Beige Luster. Even though it's a pale shade, when I apply it to my, face, to my eyes, I find that I have to work really hard. Um, and while I'm blending out the edges, it like takes chunks with it, kind of. And then I end up putting a lot more on in the center to try to make it even. It's just not a very good uh, blendable shade, I guess. These are not very blendable. They don't, the edges don't blend out very well. Color and the pigmentation is beautiful but it just does not blend well. So I have this on my hand here, and I'm gonna blend out the edges like I normally would if this was my eyes. So I swatched this on my hand, and I tried to blend out the edges with a brush, and you can see it's it just doesn't blend very well. I don't know if it's because it sets so fast on your eyes and doesn't give you enough time to kind of blend out, but honestly, I just think it's the way that this formula is where you just can't really blend things out so that it fades really nicely. So I'm thinking this is just a really good one for um, as a base or maybe you stick an eyeliner brush into it and use it as like a color eyeliner. Um, but yeah, that's how it looks like. And you can see even on the beige luster how a little patchy it is. Not a good product. I just feel like it it's just not good. It doesn't blend. Um, one thing I do find about this that I guess could be a con or a pro, I'm not sure. It doesn't crease on me and typically a lot of cream, found, cream shadows do crease on me, but it's not very long lasting either. Even though it seems like it will be because it's not coming off when I rub my hand, um, throughout the day when I look at my like at the mirror at the end of the day, it's like, it's not creasing, but it's not there either. So it's kind of interesting. So um, definitely use, if you're, gonna, if you're interested in it as a base to make your eyeshadows pop. Maybe if you have an eyeshadow palette that it's not really great quality, you know, the pigmentation is not really there. These might be a good addition to make those pop a little bit more. I also have one last con, and it's a pretty big con for me just because I'm 
kind of picky about these things, but the applicator itself needs to do a lot better of a job of scraping off the product. Do you see my doe foot right now? It is so messy. It has so much gloppy mess um, just all around. It's just way too much for one eyelid to take, um, especially an eyelid my size. Um, and it's just bad. Like, I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know why it doesn't have a better, like, I guess, constriction to, like, squeeze out the excess. This is, like, ridiculous. And I'm always doing this, and then it's not even on the applicator because it's just too much. And I've honestly only used this, like, three or four times, and it's this messy already, so... It's not like I was swatching like crazy when I first got it either. So I feel like as you continue to use this more and more, it's just gonna get messier and messier and messier. So overall, I would not repurchase this. I would not get the other colors and I actually would recommend that you don't get it because I just don't think they're worth it. Definitely this beige luster color was such a disappointment for me. The bronze sheen is not as bad, but it still doesn't isn't blendable very well. It still doesn't blend as well either, so. Overall, these both these are kind of a dud, this color tattoo eye chrome. I think they could have done a much better job considering the the pots are so good. So that's it for my review. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I convinced you not to buy these. Um, if this video was useful and helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Uh, I'd love to have you be a subscriber. You'll get notified every time I come out with a new video. And I guess that's it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.